Welcome back, dear student. Today I'm going to uh, talk about uh, 2.4. It's about combining function, composition function, sometimes the same. The combined function means that some difference product and quotients, product and quotients between uh, two functions. Here in this chapter, chapter 2, we are not going to talk about the domain. So in case you find something right, find the domain, please uh, do not concentrate about this one. Just try to do the other things. For example, in the algebra of function, we have addition, subtraction, uh, production and quotients or division. In this case, we have what? We have just um, easy things together. For example, I have f of x in your first example. We have what we have now we have page 11 f of x is equal to is equal to uh, 1 over x minus 2 and g of x is equal to square root of x in that case if i say just do it f plus x is equal to what you can uh, plus g of x we can say is equal to 1 over x minus 2 plus g of x the same thing is true for difference between two functions. So we recalled as a algebraic of functions. And also it's easy to do the multiplication between them. And again, division between them in case in the division that the denominator is not equal to zero. So if I say f divided by g, I have got something like that. 1 over x minus 2 square of x. And we, we know x shouldn't be zero. And you know x should, shouldn't be 0 and also x should be positive. So we will write like that. That's it. So uh, it's easy. So please try to uh, see the example or do it by yourself. Um, example 1, page 73 in your lecture note. So do it again. And you can see the example 1. All of them they are easy uh, pay attention to all this now i'm going to the other sides talking about what finding the division another example if uh, we have a function at a point for example we say what in the b find f plus g at four or f minus g difference g at four at four at four at two so how i'll do it I'll solve this one at 2. So I have what? f over g is equal to at 2 or at 4 is equal to what? Is equal to 1 over 4 minus 2 over 4. You know, replace or substitute uh, x to be 4 in the equation, in the uh, division or the equation. So I get what? I get 1 over 2 over 2 was equal to 1 over uh, 2 and this one has no denominator so as you know a over b in the chapter 1 we talk about this one if there is no nothing here means that you have 1 so it's equal to what we say is equal to a over b multiply 1 over c you know we replace in case we have d we say d over c so in that case we have 1 so 1 over 2 multiply 1 over 2 again is equal to 1 over 4 that's the solution so at we have f minus g at number maybe number or maybe you have f plus g at number or another uh, things also they are the same so uh, that's the talking about the example 1 part b page uh, 74 now i'm going to talk about talk about 75 combination uh, uh, or composition of a function when we say composition means that we have uh, two functions and we want to composite them so sometimes we re re we uh, recall or we say this one as a composition function or sometimes we say f circle g so we have the composition uh, how we solve the, this one? This really in this section, 
2.4 this is very important because uh, we need uh, to to solve uh, is that important because in the exam most of the question we say combine or compose compose between these two functions or find the composition between these functions so first of all try to i will try i'm going to show you how to solve example three and uh, try to solve the other examples by yourself in case you want to learn more so in example three we have what we have f of x is equal so we have f circle g okay f of x is equal to uh, x square okay and g of x is equal to x minus three how we solve this one or how uh, how we find this one what's the question the question is say for example a find f circle g g circle f say one one two three f circle f and g number four g circle g so how you solve all these parts now i'm going to show you the um, hardest part and they are the, the same they are the easiest part so because i want to find in f circle g of x so we see that is equal to f do not forget please try to uh, follow my uh, way it's better for you and try to change the brackets from the open uh, brackets change it to the close to remember the situations the uh, steps and you have x g so g of x now if i want to solve i should first solve uh, g in the middle uh, or in the uh, inside the bracket the closed bracket so we will, we will put down the g of x we have what x minus 3 so i'll write down x minus 3 without changing anything when i say f of this one f of the new thing is very important to do it how if i give x to f it will give me what it will give me x square if i give for example 5 i will get what 5 square he don't know about things he just give anything to them then he uh, it will be squared you get the square things for example if i have alpha i'll get alpha square he don't know about the 5x anything so if i get if i put x minus 3 i get what i get x minus 3 so inside the circle square inside the bracket square so i get what i get x minus 3 all of them square i think it's easy and you you uh, face these examples in your um uh, uh, in the i think the secondary school yeah in the high school you saw this one also now for the second one we have g circle f look of x by the same way i, ha I say i have g closed interval f of x now i should put right down the function without any change in anything so i have x squared now g the the type or the behavior of g is what if you give to g any thing for example if i give the 5 i'll get what i'll get 5 minus 3 he, it, g don't know anything just do it it will be do it automatically so i get what i get for example 2 if i get if i put alpha i get what i get alpha minus 3 why because g has got something if you get give it, uh, or input the g x you get what you get x minus 3 that's why so i put our input is 5 i get 5 minus 3 our input is alpha i will get alpha minus 3 so that's why if i i put x square i get what i get itself minus 3 itself minus 3 so i get what i get x square minus 3 that's all how about the theorem you should help me be with me and try to do it by yourself with me so f circle f of x now by the same way i have one f and the other one the nearest inside the close interval so i get what or close bracket sorry so i get what i get f now i have x squared because the function the original function is x squared now if i put x squared again to f i get what f alpha is equal to alpha squared if i i put alpha squared i get what 
You don't know about this one. It doesn't matter to put anything. So you get again uh, square. So I get x square again square. So I get x to the power 5 to power 4. You know, in the uh, section 1, in the chapter 1, we say if I have, we have m and we will multiply them. Now, number 4, I want to find g circle g. So by the same way, I see we have g closed brackets gx again so in the inside the closed bracket is say that if you give to x to g you see we have minus 3 if i put this one i get what g of alpha is equal to alpha minus 3 so if i put alpha minus 3 i get what we don't know you see just itself minus 3 so this is minus the the, the rule that's it so i get what I will get x minus 3 itself minus itself minus 3. So I get x minus 6. That's the uh, your example. Example uh, 3, page 75 in your lecture note, and you get the result. So how about the part B? You see that find f circle g of 5. So it's okay. So I see you can put it directly here or you can solve it again. You see what? I'll say f circle g to 5. So I get what? I say is equal to f g of 5 and f 5 minus 3 because you have g. g is equal to x minus 3. That's why. And later I get what I got f of 2 and if I put 2 into f I get what because we will square it so I get 2 squared is equal to 4 that's all I think it's easy so we finish with the example 3 in your page 75 in your lecture note now I'm going to um, to nearly finish uh, the, this section I will leave this example for you please try to do it by yourself or I will leave this one for you but I am going to uh, solve another example in your exercise for getting more to, uh, for having more example that solve it so let me see which one is good now I'm going to 41 or 21 I'm going to 21 so uh, 21 Yes, we are going to solve 21. The 21 say what? So, we say that if you have f of x is equal to 3x minus 5 and g of x is equal to 2 minus x squared now evaluate the following expression evaluate the following expression now i'm solving 21 a for you and i will leave the b for yourself so we have what we have f circle g to zero so you see is equal to what i say f circle g don't forget about steps f close interval g of 0 and I get f of so if I put 0 I get what 2 minus 0 so I get 2 now we have f of 2 we have f of 2 so if I put 2 here I get what so 3 by 2 is equal to 6 minus 1 is equal to what minus 5 is equal to 1 so I get 1 that's the other how about b it's okay I will solve it again f circle g circle f of 0 again so i say is equal to g of f of 0 is equal to g sorry plus brackets g of 0 so if i put 0 here i get what i get 0 so i get minus 5 you know if i put 0 into f so i get what 3 multiply by 0 0 minus 5 just remains minus 5 so g of minus 5 means that i put minus 5 here so I get 2 minus 5 square. I get 2 minus 
minus 5 square is equal to 2 minus 25 was equal to minus 23. So I try to solve or try to review uh, page 76, example 4, A, B, C, D. Try to solve all of them, but do not, for, uh, do not forget about that. Uh, we don't need to neglect or cancel the domain. We don't care about the domain. So just try to find this and that and this one, all of them. Okay, forget about the domain. How about if I have three or more than two functions and I want to find the composition between them? For example, if I have f of x is equal to uh, x over x plus 1, g of x is equal to x to power 10, and h of x is equal to x plus 3. So find f circle g circle h of x I say find this one so how we find this one is easy first of all we say f circle g close bracket h of x as I told you the, the nearest be the inside the close bracket so f circle g let me be here so h of x is equal to what x plus 3 now we have f of g of what tell me x plus 3 we will put g to inside the close bracket and we have here we have an x we have x plus 3 so i have x plus 3 so g of x plus 3 if i put x plus 3 here i get what i get x plus 3 to power 10 okay now if i put x plus 3 to power 10 to x i get what so i get because i have that uh, quotient or division I see is equal to x plus 3 to power 10 over x plus 3 to power 10 plus 1 why because f is a function if you get give the alpha you get alpha alpha plus 1 if I put x square I will get x square x square plus 1 if I put x plus 1 square I get what I get x plus 1 square x plus 1 square plus 1 that's it so also try to solve uh, 45 because nearly I will send a new exercise for you and uh, you should solve it as a group or maybe I have a new uh, construct instruction for you. So please try to solve this one by yourself and put it in the, on the paper to be ready. That's all about the uh, 2.4. Thank you for listening. And next video will be about 2.5 and we'll finish chapter 2 soon.